Re-emergence is the title of this exhibition because one day and color are back to their first love after being in paid employment with an advertising firm for Lang. What they're saying is that this time that we are not nothing is going to interfere with studio practice again because it's full-time studio practice 247 online before that maybe on um, during the weekend we just do sketch and do one 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 of them. But this time around we are fully ready for the practice. There is something that is bigger than salary, which is the passion that drives one to doing what you de what you desire to do. I'm an artist and a talented one at that matter. And you see, when you have passion, when you have passion for something, that passion drives you to do what you want to do. And it is the, the, the enjoyment that you derive from what you do that is much more than the monetary value that you get. The monetary value that you get is very temporary. But the, the, the value that you get for what you do, when you do a work, and in 10 years' time, I see this work, I'll be proud I did this work. One day, George is inspired by happenings around him. I do things that are deeper than what you see. I try to delve deeper into things that happen around me. That's the kernel of what I do. His paintings fall into two categories. Some are motivational and others are philosophical. That particular piece is about friendship. But these days you don't have friendship that is deep-seated. The friends that you have, they are not really friends, they are fair-weather friends. When things, when things are good, they stay. As soon as things break uh, down, they run away. And that's why in that illustration you see one holding a cudgel, the other one holding a sword. And so, if, if you do me, I do you. The title of this, this work here, is melancholy. You must not allow pressure of life to break you. You will see the image there. It's covered with basically blue shades at the base, blue purple shade at the base, and the up, the upper side is red and yellow shade. You will see the woman. She is bent down. Her head is so bent that she she she's been broken. But because of our persistence, because of our determination, you will see the head being raised. She is raising her, up, her head up gradually. And that's what life is all about. We will all go through pressure. We will all go through difficult situations. But if you, if, you, if, you, if, you stay, if you stay through, you will get through. The title of this one is The Battle of the Wheel. And what, when you say The Battle of the Wheel, you look at the, the image there that is just folding his hand and looking sober. What I'm, what I'm trying to do there, if you look at this image here, you will see, you will see the wheel. This wheel here represents the steering wheel that you are put in charge, but you are not taking charge of what you are put in charge. And most of us, we are in, in, in offices, we are in our offices, we are put in charge of uh, um, your subordinates. They are doing things wrong. They are not taking charge. So when you leave things, when, when, you, when you, are, you are put in charge of um, a particular situation and you don't take charge of that situation, that's what happened. That's what I'm trying to represent. So I'm trying to encourage you. And you see, I didn't paint this in, in sober, sober colors. I paint it in bright hues. And what I'm trying to say here is that we should not be like this. Rather, we should take charge of situation and be courageous enough to take decision. Kola Arifa Jago says he's not happy with the way our values and cultural practices have been replaced by the Western culture. We are more European than the European themselves. We want to copy them and God does not create copy. He created us original. If God wants Oyibo people to be living here in Africa, he could have done that. But he gave us a culture which we should present to the world, but we are shying away from it. And that's exactly what I'm saying with some of my work. When you look at my work, like on the ebony there, you see a long neck 
that nectitude because that one is typical of African beauty. That's typical of African beauty. And I have here Agbon Merebu. If you can see the lines, the line shows the veil over our culture, over our culture, because we are shining away, and the something is going into into extinction. That's one of my painting that I call African Swagger. The lady bearing everything up is revealing a lot, unlike before. In in Africa, you don't dress you. You don't dress like that, even inside within your own sitting room. Because, but that's the standard, the moral standard is, is dropping every day. Because you want to be like Oibo, because when you travel out, you will see Oibo people with bikini and all that. And we want to be more than Oibo. You see a lot of people on, on the street, in the cinema house with uh, saga and all that. People will sag, lady will sag, boy will sag, and everything is obscenity. So it's learning the standard. That's exactly what I'm trying to preach to the world. That look, in African culture, we must uphold because we have respect and we have respect for our culture. And our moral is I. Kola and Wandi have used bold strokes to draw everyone's attention to important issues. When you take a cursory look, it's like, oh, just add or colors all together on page. But when the artist explains to you, or even when you try to give an interpretation to what you're looking at, you realize that there are deep and sound meanings to every artwork here. And I'm really impressed because it means that we can also export what we have as art out of the country. We like and encourage the artists. Uh, supporting the artists to be able to express themselves. So when we saw these two artists that have been in adver advertising for so long and they want to come back into full studio practice, uh, we one felt that it's good to support and encourage them, especially when we've seen the kind of works they can do. Um, Mr. George, one day George, for example, we sold a couple of his pieces in our auction. So we know the quality of what they can do. We saw the works ahead of time and we were quite impressed that um, even though they've been in the advertising sector for, for so long, they still got very strong strokes. They could still bring out very good works and we're impressed. Henceforth, these exhibiting artists will engage in studio practice full time. I am determined and I have very resolved to go all home, to go all the way, to give my best to what I'm doing. And I want to tell you that the best is yet to come. You should be ready for me because I'm going to happen to the world of art with a bang. And I believe that persistence is the word and determination and that's it. And that's it. and I believe that whoever that knows where is going, the whole world will give road to him or her, and that's my word. I know where I'm going, and I've made up my mind, and I know that I belong to the top, and that's where I'm going. To one day and color, art is life.